Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday again. Welcome to another edition of The Deeper Dive, where, as you guys know, we take Sunday's message and go a little deeper, whether it be application or revelation, wherever God leads us. I have with me today Matt Gensel. Uh, Matt, would you like to open us up in prayer and let's get this dive going? I would love to. Lord, I pray as we come before you this morning, Lord, that you just... You have us pause everywhere we are, and as we study your word deeper and study what our pastor has taught us on Sunday, just just going further and deeper, that diving deeper into the message, Lord, I pray that you just just calm everything, calm all the struggles, calm everything going on in our lives, where we can just focus on you and focus on deep, deepening our our word and knowledge in you, Lord. I pray this all in your mighty name. Amen. Amen. Well, Pastor Tony has started a new series for us. Yes. It ain't easy. Being a Christian. That it is Amen. not. It is not. <laughs> um, yeah, he started out with, and we didn't get a, get real deep into this series. You know, he didn't have a lot of time this past Sunday, so we yeah. just kind of got a, a little intro to it. But man, I'm telling you, it's just what I've heard already. I mean, he is speaking truth, and but truth and encouragement. Yes. That's, mm-hmm. you know, that's one thing I want to go into a little bit today. And just as I, I was thinking about this Sunday's message, you know, a lot of times you, know, you guys know me, I'll you know, go through and you know, do some deeper study, you know, further in the script. This t- this week, I don't know, it just kind of hit me more. I just wanted to, I, I took a look at myself and look at looked at the life I have yeah. and everything around me. I just kind of wanted to go into more of the practical, mm-hmm. you know, side of this. I mean, and just the plain truth of how hard it is yeah. to walk this life in the world we live in today. Very true. I know a lot of people, like, they think, oh, Christian, that's sunshines and rainbows. It, yeah. It's not. Boy, I will tell you, I... I didn't know what I was getting to because mm-hmm. somebody, something, some I've always heard all my life um, through pastors, you know, growing up in the church is like, if the devil's not coming after you, you should be worried. Yep. And I'm like, what are you talking about? This sounds like the Lord's got me. I'm not saying like every day is a constant attack, but every day it seems to be constant like attack yeah. because he does not like Christians worshiping God. Mm-hmm. He does not like Christians dwelling in communion with God, and he will attack you. Constantly, and I know in my life, like I've, I think Pastor Tony even hit the verse. It was John sixteen thirty three. It says, "I've told you these things so that so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but have have, mm-hmm. uh, have heart. I have overcome the world." Yes, and it's just like, oh, it's. I know in my life, I have always thought well, being a Christian will be easy. You know, go to church. You know, they say you tithe, and God will, and God will bless you ten times back. I'm like, this is gonna be great. But the devil does not like it. The story of Job is a great example as to as somebody that, that stood fast in, faith, in, in communion with God and faith with God, even though he was under attack from the devil. Um, so yes, take heart. Um, the world is not going to like you because you have, you have been in communion with God. You have, you have dwelled with him, and the devil will attack you, but God mm-hmm. has overcome the world. Absolutely, and you brought up one. I'm going to see if I can find it real quick. Uh, but yeah, I mean... And you talk about the attacks. Mm-hmm. Don't all you know? One thing I want to say is don't always look at them as just all out like war cry attacks. Yeah, oh, yeah. The attacks can be nothing more than strategy for the moment. Mm-hmm. It can be the subtle hints, the commercial you see, yeah. the billboard you see. The I mean, it's so many little things. The devil will throw these attacks, even just the smallest one. And stra- strategically put them in your life oh, yeah. as an attempt to trip you up. I will. I mean, I was telling my uh, my friend the other day about this. I was like, it is insane. You know, like you know, the phones with like targeted advertising, mm-hmm. and they'll yeah. you know, they'll they'll say like, hey, you click these you click these few different sites, and I'm gonna throw you this ad because you might be interested in this. And I was like, that is kind of like how the devil is, because he knows he knows the things you do, and he knows what, the things that trip you up, and he's gonna try to throw that thing in you, just like the ad companies try to get you to click that link and try to buy it. He's gonna throw that in there because he's gonna, maybe this will make you stumble. Yeah. And you have to you have to stick with it because the truth is God will never allow the devil to give you an obstacle that he knows you cannot overcome and he knows that you can't say no to. Yeah. Um, he'll never allow him to you know over over overdo it with you. Um, and that that's one thing I know I get a lot of a lot of encouragement out of saying like every every obstacle I hit I know that I have it in me mm-hmm. to overcome it because God has instilled me. Yeah. To do so. I think that's that's really. really oh, cool absolutely, and it's, I mean, and you know, one of the things that you know, I was I was just looking at. I mean, he he says it numerous times about people over. You know, it's written in scripture so many times about people overcoming. Yeah. You know, people triumph, and like Pastor Ernie was saying, you know, you've got to be in the midst of a battle in order to mm-hmm. overcome something, or to triumph, or to victor over something. 
Yeah. And I mean, it also says in Scripture, you know, that God wishes, you know, He wishes nothing bad for us. He wishes us only mm-hmm. for us to prosper, yes. be healthy in all in, in all areas of life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and just, again, looking around at the different things that are taking place in the world, the world is currently set up for us to fall. Mm-hmm. And, there, you know, we have to stick together. That's, that's one of the encouraging things, you know, that I want to bring up with with all this is when you when you get saved and you enter this fight as pastor tony said you're not fighting alone no that's the beautiful part mm-hmm. yes it is hard yes there will be trials there will be yes. things that you know that will knock you down god will not give you more than you can handle with him by your side and yeah. i believe i said this a couple of weeks ago in one of the, in one of our other dives but that is also one of the key points mm-hmm. is when you enter this fight when you get saved, when you give your life to Christ, you are not fighting alone. No. God is by your side. If you mm-hmm. get hit and get knocked down, God will be there to pick you up. And your fellow brothers and sisters in Christ, yeah. will, the true brothers and sisters in Christ, will be there 100% of the time to pick yeah. you up. And you'll end up picking someone else up along the way. That's part of the walk. That's yes. part of the fight. Mm-hmm. And you'll be, you'll be surprised the circumstances that God puts you in. Uh, I know people, you know, pastor te- te- teaches on healings, and mm-hmm. sometimes it's like the place that you're in that you think, oh, the devil just got me. Maybe that's where God wants you. Maybe you're in that pos- you're maybe you're in that place to reach somebody that could not be reached until you were Absolutely. in that place. And I know in my, in my life, there's been circumstances I'm like, I just wish I, you know, I just wish I could do this. I wish I could. I wish this was better. The situation was better. Mm-hmm. And I had to sit back and look. I was like, God has me here for a reason. Let me figure out why and what my purpose is because Absolutely. life as a Christian isn't easy, but you know, the great commission is like go out into the world and make disciples. Mm-hmm. And that, that is what Jesus has told us to do. And he didn't say go out in the world and make disciples and it, it'll be really easy. You know, you'll, it'll be a lavish life. You can just, you'll run into somebody at Walmart one day and you'll, you'll lead them, which you may, that may be the place God True. wants you, but God might need you in the pits. He might need you in the place, in the, in the places nobody else wants to go. So that you can reach those people and reach and research situations, you might be a testimony. I know Pastor Aaron, uh, when I was under in, um, in, interning in youth under him, he always told me he's like the place you are be the place you're at. Don't still watch yourself because mm-hmm. people are going to be watching you. Like how you compose yourself and how you handle situations the devil throws at you, people are watching you. You I mean they'll Absolutely. say he's a Christian? They're watching you to how you handle it. And you and God has instilled us with all these different, you know, fruits and all these different, you know, the the um, the whole uh, armor armor of armor God, God. Right. and um, all that stuff that to defend us against to defend us against all this all these attacks. And people are watching. People, I swear, I, I'm telling you, people will watch you as a Christian and say, "You claim to be a Christian. Let me see how you handle this terrible situation in your life. Mm-hmm. Let me let me see how you how you react and how you compose yourself as a Christian." I know, like. Like situate how I'm trying to think how to phrase this, but how I've had to get to my get myself to is when anything happens, I'm like, this must be God, right? Because this must be God's yep. plan, and I'm not going to freak out because God has put me in this situation, and He's going to get me That's out of good. it. Good, Abs- yeah, hundred percent. And just along the way, you were talking about you know being there for somebody mm-hmm. and you know to, for them to see you. There's also the the possibility that what you're going through. It might seem horrible, and you know, in cer- many circumstances, I'm sure that it that it is in the, in this mm-hmm. world. But it is training you; it is preparing you mm-hmm. for something that is still yet to come. Yeah, R- Romans eight eighteen says, I, "I consider that our present sufferings are not worth mm-hmm. comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us." Yep. Amen. I mean, you know, and going building on that because that's that's funny. You mentioned that was one of them that I was actually yes. looking up, but um, it's. You know, talk about the glory. That, you know, let's look at this from, you know, an earthly realm, you know, earthly kind of, kind of situation. Let's take, I don't know. Let's take sports. You know, mm-hmm. something. If you're if you're competing, you're training, mm-hmm. you're practicing, you're building skills. Mm-hmm. That kind of stuff's not always fun. Sometimes it hurts. Sometimes it's tiring. Yeah. But all these different things, you have an end goal. Whether it be, you know, and even along the way, you've got small victories, you've got mm-hmm. qualifiers, you've got regional mm-hmm. terms, all the way, even even think about the Olympics, the the ride that you yeah. took and these little victories along the way to get to a gold medal, our gold medal is eternal life with yeah. him. So 
we're training. Look at it that way. All mm-hmm. these things that we're being put through, it's training, and we have to take the little mm-hmm. victories along the way. Yeah. I know, like, I, I'm, I'm a scripture, so, like, I, I was raised in, in a way of that I like... I like looking at the scripts. Like Pastor Tony, he always mm-hmm. has scripture for everything he says. Yes. And like off you were saying, I have a verse in Matthew that says, you'll be hated by everyone because of me, mm-hmm. but the one who stands firm and to the end will be saved. And it's like, you just have to ignore. And the second Corinthians, I have another verse that it just has it, always been so encouraging to me. They're talking and they say, we are hard pressed on every side, mm-hmm. but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but we're not abandoned and struck down, but we're not destroyed. It's like you might be under attack. You might be, you you might be, <laughs> it's be getting. I don't, I don't know how to like phrase it, but you might just be getting attacked in every mm-hmm. angle and be getting crushed down. But God is still faithful, and He is Absolutely. still there, and you are not done. You you're not at rock bottom because God will lift you up higher than you ever fell. Yep. That's that's it's beautiful. It really, is beautiful. it is. And just again, I we I know it's hard, but the encouraging side of this is. Like Pastor Henry was saying Sunday, you know, I definitely encourage you guys to go back and watch that. But you know, he was talking to the soldier in us, is what he, the way he worded it. You can't give up. Think about all the people throughout Scripture. I mean, let's just go ahead and start off with the heavy hitter. You, you mentioned think about Job. You know, think about you know the things that are going on that went on with him. You know, he didn't give up, mm-hmm. and God knew he wouldn't give up. Yeah, he stayed faithful through all the trials. I mean, even the you know Christ when he was here on earth. I mean, he faced persecution from day one mm-hmm. of his ministry. Yeah. I mean, in every step of it, all the way to the cross, he never gave up on us. Mm-hmm. So now we have to turn around mm-hmm. and fight the same fight in our own lives and not give up on him. Because that's, in a way, I feel like that's mm-hmm. what we would be doing. Because he, what he did for us, if we give up now, mm-hmm. it, it was, it's just... It's it's not what he wanted for us. No. It's not that's not what he did what he did for. Mm-mm. So we can't give up through all the struggles and the trials. I mean, yeah. and again, go. I mean, going on back. I mean, Noah. Um, you know, look at what Moses mm-hmm. went through. All the you know, walking for forty yeah. days, you know, and yeah, you know, or forty years. I mean, yeah, you know, they if they had just given up, mm-hmm. they would not have reached the promised land. And that's where we've got to stay now. We've got to stay true mm-hmm. to the course. Yeah, and just have the faith and not give up and know what's coming. Yeah, Je- like, like like I love what you said. Like Jesus suffered for us. Mm-hmm. He did, and he he died on that cross for our sins. A perf- the perfect manifestation on God on earth. The per- yeah. never sinned before. What we rejected him, and then he suffered and still loved us and still showed us grace. Yes, and he was faithful to us then. And he will be faithful to us now. So, like, like Pat, back, to, you know, Pastor Tony's sermon, you're saying it's it's hard to be a Christian. It Life is. as a Christian is not sunshine and rainbows. It may be in moments, it may be in seasons that mm-hmm. God has been, God is, God is honoring you. He's saying, you, you know, you've been, you've been doing really good. You mm-hmm. have suffered for me. Absolutely. You, uh, you, you get a season of, you know, a season of calmness, a yeah. season, season of rest, a season, season, a season of, of healing. Rest. Yeah, season of healing. Mm-hmm. And those those seasons are awesome, but when the time will come, and the, the devil will come, I promise you, he will come for you, and um, we have to we have to stand yeah. we have to stand firm. We have to. Even in those seasons of rest, those seasons of healing, you still I mean, again taking it back to you know the competition athlete. Even when you've got athletes that are healing, what are they doing? They're studying. Mm-hmm. They're you know They're analyzing growing. what mm-hmm. they just went through, what they're yeah. getting ready to go through. As Christians, we have to yes. do this too. We have to stay in the Word. We have to study. That is that is one of our biggest weapons against yes. the enemy. That is, I mean, that is the key: is to stay prepared. Mm-hmm. Stay prepared. Yes. Keep faith and don't give up. And you'll be able to. God will be there beside you, mm-hmm. and you'll have the tools that you'll it'll take to fight these fights. And the biggest point, yes, and the biggest point I also want to hit on is that everybody thinks they have to go through this alone, and you no. don't. He has built brothers and sisters in Christ all around you. Mm-hmm. Like just just past um, this past Sunday, we it was Moral Day right. Sunday, and we had a veteran come down and talk about how um, how I believe he said twenty two veterans commit suicide a day. Yeah, totally and um, a lot of veterans, especially like, are incorporated in the faith and they believe and trust in God. And uh, the twenty two veterans are, are committing suicide a day, yeah. and. They are not alone. That's why we, we, he he gave a helpline to people like that. But Christians that Christians themselves are also not alone. When they mm-hmm. go when they go through sufferings, when they go through all this stuff, 
you're not alone. You have people like we have an intercessory prayer team at the church yep. Yep. that meets faithfully every single week and prays for every request that is submitted to us. Mm-hmm. And it's very private, very um, the people on the team are you know background checked and it's yep. very very, very secure, very, very confidential. Yep. But they have or um, they are going to God with your request and presenting it to Him, and they're praying that God will see you through because mm-hmm. He is faithful. And it, if you need somebody to help you get through something, that's what that's the whole point of a yeah, church. The the church is your is part of your lifeline. Yes. It is part of you. And you know, early in my life, yeah, you know, and even even you know, even sometimes here more recently, mm-hmm. I'll take the smaller battles yeah. and internalize them, thinking, well, I've got this. You know, yeah. I'm I'm not going to bother you know anybody with this. I'm just going to fight it on yeah. my own. Sometimes I make it out okay. Mm-hmm. Sometimes God brings me to that point where I have to ask for help, and yeah. it's it's for a reason. Uh, if you, you know, Pastor Tony brought up another good example. If you don't pass the test that's in front of you, guess what? You're going to repeat it. Mm-hmm. And I've I've been guilty of that in mm-hmm. the past. I I would rely so much on my own understanding and yes. myself, and by myself, I'm not enough. Yeah. God. I need the people yeah. around me. I need my friends, and most importantly, I need God yes. to get me through these battles. Yes, I, I cannot tell you how many t- how many times, and I'll say this: that I have had to redo test and actually delayed my growth and delayed my the plan God had me on because I was not obedient to follow mm-hmm. follow through. And um, and I, Pastor Garrett taught a sermon almost over a year ago, and he and he he said something that stuck with me, and I carry it every single day. He said, delayed obedience is disobedience. That's good. And that really stuck with me because I, 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 I'm one that I'm like, I just don't want to do it. You know, like, I, I'm like, God, come on now. Can you just like, right. can it be the sunshine and rainbows? Like, can, can I not, do I have to go that far? Do I have to, um, do I have to do that test? And God, um, he continually, he continually and continually stays faithful to me. And, he, and when I fall short, he isn't like, all right, out, out, out with you, right. you're done. He's saying, well, here's another chance. Like, mm-hmm. come on. Because he cares for us and he loves us so yes. stinking much. And he 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 will always be faithful. That's the biggest thing. Amen. And my friend, I will tell you, I have had so many people that I cannot get through. I felt I could not get through it alone. I'm like, there's no way to do it. And I have the community of new life and, and beyond and my, my best friend and everybody to help lift me up and to help to say, you know, like, come on, like, it's almost like a pat on the back. Like, come on, yeah. you can do it. Absolutely. And that helps. And it does. We've, I feel like we've developed, definitely kind of helped cultivate an environment here that's saying, mm-hmm. if you need help, ask, because we're willing to help. We'll mm-hmm. pray for you. We'll, we'll, we'll do everything that you need to get, you know, whatever God needs to do done. Mm-hmm. I agree. And that's, I mean, honestly, I can't think of a better way to to close this one out yeah. with. I mean, just in that that you know, to to lean on your friends, lean yes. on the people mm-hmm. around you, and that's again what this church is about, yeah. and that's what your church is for. So you don't have to fight this alone, guys. No. Yeah. You know, like I said, Pastor, Aaron didn't get into a, a whole lot on this one, so we yeah. won't we won't go around and around. It's yeah. Until next week, because he's continuing the series. Yeah, it, it'll yes. be a series, so we'll. Yeah, as always with the deeper dive, we'll kind of continue on as he goes deeper into his. We'll yes. have more material to chew on, and you know, we'll continue to go deeper with you guys yes. as well. But um, I just want to close this out just a real quick prayer, mm-hmm. nothing, yes. nothing big, and then uh, we'll get going. But yeah, let's pray. Um, dear Father, I just want to thank you for this time. I want to thank you for the words that you've yes. given Matthew and I. Lord, I ask you to be be there for your people. Show your presence. Give them the faith and the strength to persevere through all the battles that they will endure. Give them the confidence to fight for you, fight for all that you've given to us, Lord. Again, Lord, just thank you for this time. I ask blessings on your people and all those who are yes. this podcast is reaching, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See you next week, guys. guys love you. Love See you all. next week. Bye.